in a series of at least three episodes, I will talk about .NET MAUI and storage. In this, the first episode, I will talk about secure storage. Welcome back to another .NET MAUI video. Today and in the upcoming episodes, I will talk about storage. In this, the first of the storage episodes, I will talk about secure storage and how you can save sensitive data like access tokens, connection string, password and other stuff that you want to be stored in a secure way. And that is pretty easy with .NET MAUI and the MAUI Essentials. So I will show you how you can use it. Okay, here I have started to build an app. It's a simple app where you enter an access token and save it. And then you should be able to click the button to show it. So what I've done is that I have built the UI, created view models, but I have not added the logic to save it yet. And that is what we would do in this video. So we can close the app and we can go to Visual Studio and our view model. So here in the view model, I have added the properties needed for the UI access token, save access token and for the command save and show. And here we have the save token method that will run when you hit save button and the show token method that will run when you hit the show button. So it is in those methods where we will add some logic to save the access token and get the access token to secure storage. If you run on iOS, for example, it, it will save it in the keychain. So what we can do here is we can do the simplest way, just use the static method on the secure storage class like this secure storage dot default dot set async then we need to pass a key and the value and for the key i have created a constant access token key and just give it a value so we enter that one here access token key then we pass the access token property just like this and now we have saved the token. Now we can go here and get the token instead. So it will also be that simple. So we can say access saved access token is equal to await secure storage default dot get async and then we can pass the access token key just like this and we are home. Okay, so let's try to run the app and see if this works. So here we have the app again. So we enter my secret token and we save it. Oops! Here we have an exception. Uh, and the problem here is that to be able to save the keychain on the iOS simulator we need to add some entitlements. So we will do that. If you run it on a physical device, you don't need to do this, but for the simulator, you need to do this both on iOS and if you run it on Mac. So we go to the platforms folder, iOS, and then we create a new file, an XML file and call it entitlements.plist like this and then I prepared how that one should look so we open it uh, we just do the code we paste the value from another app that I have and here we can see that we have a dictionary of keys keychain access group and here we have an array of strings so here we add an identifier for this keychain access group and then we save it then we can go here to Visual Studio again. We go to prop properties on the project and then we can say custom entitlements is this info plist file. 
just need to be in the right folder, of course. So then we also need to set uh, a copy to output directory to have it work. So now we can try to run the app again. So here we have the app again. Let's try again. My secret token and save. Okay, and now we didn't have any exception. So let's see if we can show it. Woohoo! It worked. The only problem we have now is that this code is not that testable. Because we cannot run a unit test and have this secure storage code inside of the view model. So what I recommend you to do is to create an own service that handles the secure storage part and have an interface. Then you use dependency injection to inject that service into the view model. So let me show you how you can do that. So we create a new class or an interface maybe I uh, secure storage service don't call a secure storage because there are already an interface in Maui that is called that but you cannot use that one in an easy way because there are no single implementation of it all platform has its own implementation so I prefer creating an own service and that also makes it more flexible to use other options if you for example want to reuse some of the code in let's say a blazer app if you're doing Maui blazer you maybe want to have the service also on the web and then you can have an other implementation but not using secure storage maybe store it in a local storage or cookies or whatever so we have in here in the face a task save string key string value and a task that returns a string get and we pass a key to it okay that's all then we create a new class secure storage service and we implement the interface like this and then we take this secure storage dot default dot get async pass the key and then we do like this secure storage dot set async key value and we add the await keyword to both of those and then we need also the method to be async and we're done and now we can go to the Maui program class and we can map this interface to the implementation so builder so builder services dot add maybe singleton I secure storage service is mapped to secure storage service like this okay and now we can go to the view model we can inject it I secure storage service create a read-only field for it and then we can use it here so see your storage service save pass the same data and here we do the same secure storage service but we use the get method of course so now this is much more testable and you can write unit tests for your view model so let's end this video with testing if this works so here we add a token, da -boom, just like that, save and show, it works. Thank you for watching this video about .NET MAUI storage and secure storage. 
In the next video, I will talk about how you can store settings in your .NET MAUI app. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and we see you next time.